According to the central limit theorem, as the sample size increases, the distribution of your sample approaches a more normal curve, and also the variability de is decreasing. Now, it's safe to say na pag mas marami tayong uh, um, individuals, mas malaki yung sample size natin, mas accurate yung ating magiging judgment tungkol sa population. Pero gaano kadaming sample ang uh, kailangan natin para masabi natin na ang um, ating magiging result will be uh, accurately describing the population. So for today's lesson, we're going to uh, learn how to determine the sample size for estimating our population mean. Kasi kailangan rin nating matutunan kung paano kunin yung at least minimum value of sample size sa ating experiment. So ito yung formula doon sa pagkuha ng uh, margin of error ng ating confidence interval. So, matatandaan nyo yung Z star, sigma all over the square root of N, eh, yung margin of error doon sa confidence interval. Now, since magdedetermine tayo ng sample size, yung formula natin, eh, kukunin natin dito sa ating margin of error, which should be less than or greater than E, na kung saan yung E ay eh, yung ating maximum error. So, ang N ang hinahanap natin o yung sample size, kapag dinerive natin yung N na to using algebra, ang magiging formula natin base sa margin error that should be less than or equal to the maximum number of error or error value that you have will give you N greater than or equal to Z star times sigma all over E quantity squared. So, ito yung formula na gagamitin natin to determine the number of sample or the minimum value of number of samples na kakailangan, na, kakailangan natin sa isang experiment given its confidence level. Now, due to the word problem na to, researchers are interested to estimate the mean cholesterol level of a particular variety of monkey. Now, researchers would like their estimate within 1 milligram per deciliter of the monkey's blood at 95% confidence level. Now, previous studies suggest uh, standard deviation or population standard deviation of 5 milligrams per deciliter. Now, obtaining monkey, monkeys is expensive and time consuming. Now, what is the minimum number of monkeys would they need to generate satisfactory estimate based on their work? Now, syempre, kung kailangan mo kumuha ng mga unggoy, masyadong magastos ang pag kuha ng unggoy at time consuming nga naman. So, kailangan nating ma-hit yung at least yung minimum number of monkeys na kakailanganin natin para dito sa experiment natin kung ikaw yung researcher. Now, kung ikaw yung researcher, gaano karaming unggoy ang kailangan mo with a 95% confidence level. So, gagamitin natin yung formula na pinakita ko kanina to find the minimum number of monkeys we need. So, ang given dito is yung population standard deviation of 5 yung ating C level na 0.95 at yung ating Z star na 1.96. Now, yung error natin dito ay eh, kailangan daw suma sumakop na within one year lang. So, ito yung isa sa mga gagamitin natin sa formula. So, yung formula ng pagkuha ng sample size is N greater than or equal to Z star times sigma or population standard deviation all over E then squared. Now, by direct substitution, we'll have the sample size greater than or equal to 1.96 times 5 all over 1 squared will give us 97. So, kailangan daw natin na at least 97 na monkeys para ma-hit yung 95% confidence level dito sa ating experiment. At yan, ganyan ginagamit yung formula para makuha natin yung minimum number ng sample size natin para yung ating conclusion base dun, dun sa um, population based dun sa sample eh maging at least 95% na accurate or confident na masasakop niya yung population mean natin. 